Hi guys, Happy New Year. One of my big resolutions this year, and it might have been the same last year, is to start taking better care of my skin. So over the break, I tried out some different homemade recipes, and I found this amazing peel-off face mask that I am obsessed with. Today, I'm gonna to show you how fun and easy it is to make right at home. Here's what you'll need to get started. Gelatin or agar powder, one lemon, manuka honey, vitamin E or tea tree oil, and essential oils are optional. We're gonna start by mixing one tablespoon of gelatin. I'm using a grass-fed version, and two tablespoons of steamed milk. You wanna make sure it's really hot. And then mix together. If you don't wanna use gelatin, you can substitute it with agar powder. It'll give you the exact same effect. It just might not peel off quite as clean. The base of our mask is complete, and you could apply it as is, and it'll do a great job, but we're gonna take it up a notch with a few other ingredients, starting with some Manuka honey. I love this ingredient for its anti-inflammatory and anti-aging properties, plus it's great for acne-prone skin. Next is a twist of fresh lemon juice, which is full of vitamin C and great for brightening your skin. And finally, our oils. These are totally optional, but I'm adding a little vitamin E for added moisture and five to 10 drops of lavender for its calming properties and scent and give it a good stir to make sure it has a nice, even consistency. So our mask is complete, and now for the fun part, let's try it out. All right, I'm here with our friend and babysitter, Billy, and my assistant, and we are gonna apply this mask. Let's do this. We're gonna use a makeup brush to apply the mask and just dip it in, and then paint a nice, even layer. You wanna cover the entire face, but make sure you stay away from the eyebrows because it can pull the hair out. Now we're moving to the forehead, and again, just make sure you stay away from the eyebrows. Watch the eyebrows. <laughs> you look really pretty, Bill. Thank you, Lincoln. You'll want to make sure you get the nose really well. This mask is great at removing blackheads and whiteheads. Billy, how does it feel? Really nice. Mm -hmm. All, All done! done. <laughs> so now we're going to leave it to dry for 20 to 30 minutes. Now it's beautiful. All right, so the mask is nice and dry. How does it feel? I can't talk. <laughs> So it should feel really stiff when it's all the way dry. And now we're gonna start to peel it off. You're gonna to wanna to start along the jawline or under the chin and peel upwards, nice and slow. And we're literally removing all the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. Be really gentle around the eyes because it will tug a little bit. A lot of exfoliating masks can leave your skin feeling really dry, but because we use moisturizing ingredients like the honey and the vitamin E oil, this will leave your skin feeling really soft and supple. <laughs> can you, okay, can you believe that was on your face? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can gently rub off any excess with a warm washcloth. And that's it. How does it feel? It actually didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to, and it feels really nice now. So oh. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> your skin is literally glowing. It looks it so nice. good. All right, guys, I hope you'll give this a try. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see any other beauty DIYs. Thank you, Lincoln and Billy, for helping me today, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys!